Welcome back to Princess Peach Showtime! Sparkle, sparkle theater. The second portion of the Basement Files begins today. Who are we saving? Today we're saving, well, we're starting with The Mermaid 3, The Dark Depths and the Swirling Currents. The Dark Depths and the Swirling Currents. Oh, that could be an Atelier subtitle. It sounds like a really fancy name for some blackberry cordial or something. <gasps> that just sounds lovely. With swirling currants. Ooh. Oh, it's French. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh. it's it's bracing. <coughs> mm. Mm. Uh. Uh. <laughs> 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 oh my God! They are swirling currants. Ah! Everything's already turned to shit, it seems. Good lord. Where could the sparkler be? How is singing gonna help this? Whoa! Yeah, we gotta be, kinda be particular here. We got some fish here. We can go open this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's coming! For, for, for some coins. It's got- oh. They're not really doing much, are they? But this one here. We just helping out, or oh, more fish. This is so uh, dark, and it... oh, I got away. That's all right. It is all right because they do come back. So Especially, a... you gotta go in this pose area, of course, before you do anything. Because if you go too far, you'll be insta thrown into the next area. <gasps> Who is her vocal coach? Like, oh my god. I want to know how she can swim backstage. I mean, is the entire theater flooded right now, or...? <laughs> you look out into the crowd, and you just see a bunch of floating people. Oh! Uh, hey, don't be, so, don't be so dark. They're all in scuba diving gear. D dark swirling vortexes, what do you mean? I can be dark if I want to! Alright, get him. Get him! So make sure you get this uh, red clam first, because it has the dress ribbon. Oh! Because if you go too quickly and you open these these uh, big ones yeah. first, you get a lot of nothing. Uh, oh. But if you open this one before you open uh, the other ones, you're instantly thrown to the next area because that's the that's the mermaid sparkle. We saved her! Yay! Uh -huh. Headdress is fabulous. And no! Uh -huh. You got the right idea, lady. Let's go. I think we just saved a doppelganger because look at that photo in the back. <laughs> I think that might be. Uh, the sparkler trapped in a Luigi's Mansion painting. I thought she was just gonna run right Whoa. into the pillar. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. Don't get swept away. Don't worry, darling. I was oh, built for this. I know what I'm doing. Don't even get hurt by these things. Alright, now for the thing that always gives me the most problems. The performances. do 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 We have to deal with these whirlpools! Prepare to sing! Oh. Oh. Very, very lovely harmony we just made there. I think that chord's gonna be a number one jam. Oh. 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 Save the people. Sing, sing the song. Yeah, stop these two jagoffs from singing and <laughs> sing yourself, please, princess. It's getting worse. <laughs> the waters are getting faster. I never thought we'd be cringe-inducing until now. It's great. <laughs> never thought. Ne well, I wouldn't go now. It's a back and forth duel. Or duet, I mean. Uh, oh, that's actually kind of awesome. There. We have soothed the soul of the cyclone. Hold. Up! Uh. Mr. Fish up above. Did I? Yes, you did. Damn it. There's a little little sneaker fish up on top. Yeah, we're not even center, so... We... Wait, wait, no, no, I did not miss it. Oh, I guess it didn't count. Or, I guess it. you didn't have to do it. 
Uh, uh, that one got well, away. Well, that one very much got that away. That one absolutely got away. No question there. I wonder if they're just going to be extremely lenient. Maybe if this this last one is the only thing that matters. That'd be kind of awesome. That's 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 kind of the the gist I got in practice. Yep, I was right. All right, we're wow we're somehow good. Thank you. So lenient. That was the most generous lenient performance ever, and it was the most daunting and most dire of all of the songs to this point. So, uh, well done, everyone. You know, with all these, uh, with all these cyclones kind of dispelled, I wonder what's happening on the surface world. Like, are we having mass tidal waves up there, or...? We could just sing to, 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 to quell them if that's the case. It's fine. Don't worry about it. See, I could have sworn there, there's something in fiction where, you know, mermaid sounds lovely under the water, but as soon as they come up to, to the surface world, they just sound, like, awful. I don't know where I heard that, but that's I, so rude. Are I you just saying the mermaids have terrible voices? No, they have great voices underwater only. Oh, that's 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 so rude. And then when they come up, bah! and then a ship wrecks. How, and they... how rude! That's so <laughs> negative. She's floating. <laughs> she's not even suspended. She's the actual mermaid. Don't even need water, really. I just did it for the fun of it. All right, who's next? Who are we going to do next? No. Any one of these three. Go ahead and pick Cowboy! Them. You want to do Cowboy? Cowboy! Let's go and do Cowboy. Showtime. The Dark Locomotive. And the Doomed Town. Uh, hmm. So hmm. is the train the one that's dooming the town? Like, is it an evil train? Maybe the town's already doomed because we're in, like, you know, hellacious Mario Galaxy right, right, right. Uh, matter-eaten galaxy land. Is that where Madame Grape comes from? Ship it, Miyamoto. Super Mario Galaxy 3, the bad, evil, dark matter, e evil eaten land. Super Mario Grape. <laughs> and Peach is like, you stole my villain. What the, what the fuck? fuck? And you stole my money. <laughs> you could have been Mario Showtime, but no! No. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It is the train. Oh, no. We gotta save her. All right. Let's go. Let's go! I am going to go and save the people here right now. Come here! Hey, yeah. Come here! Over there! You get over here. Yep. I'm right here. Oh, they're throwing stuff. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. So, uh, there, there was oh, recently, shit. uh, there was recently a, a few clips going around. Hanna-Barbera screens yeah. uh, on Twitter. And, uh, I, like I saw the, uh, the one clip, Tom and Jerry, where uh, they're divvying up the steak, and it ends up with like one of them being massively injured. It's just like that's normally how uh, how all the cartoons. Are. Sorry, I I went on a long tangent just because of that song. It awakened something. You just want the the steak, don't you? I just want the steak. We're think... coming for you, Hoop. Hip. Hi, I'm the evil demon train. This way. Oh boy. Well, this train really wants to kill you, lady. I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha! Hoya! God, Uncharted wishes it was this. And there goes the demon train. Yeah, because it didn't cost as much either. Straight into the town. See, that's why a theater production is much more cost effective than an entire movie. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know, I'm just, just, just saying. Just saying. I also heard that a lot of these props were borrowed from the actual Broadway musical. Can you believe that? Oh, yes. They got the official stuff. That's a problem. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we so, need a plan. Anybody got a plan? Hmm. I ain't got, I ain't got no idea. You are like the greatest horse in fiction. Let's go. Jump on to Ipana. Nope. I gotta pose first. Excuse me. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Alright, you come here. Hey, whoa, whoa. Them's guns. It's dangerous. No it's guns. Dangerous. Yeah, Big yeah. danger. There. Okay, I, now we can go. I just realized when you leave those pose areas, there's applause. <laughs> That's impossible. 
but we'll take it. So this this white horse is like the power of uh, the power of God or something. I got the power of God and anime on there's my a, side. There's a box back here that has a sparkle gem. I don't know how you got that, but congratulations. You had to know ahead of time. Just kind of go over there and oh shit. Uh, okay. Looks like we're going to have to jump. Yeah. And there goes the sparkle. <laughs> there. Okay. All right. Uh, here, gimme that, and okay. then uh, some extra money, and then get that guy, oh, and shit. then die. Ah. Oops. <laughs> I think you only have one heart left. It really lurched me back there, and it, and it took away my my my, my sparkle gem. Thank you. My dress ribbon. All right, here we go. Oh, they just got another one. Jump. Yep. The train again! Oh! God, Thomas the tank engine is going wild! Oh, he doesn't go by Thomas. Uh, He's tough. <laughs> we call him Tommy. Tommy the tank engine going in for a killing spree. Alright. Tommy tank engine. Hoop! Yeah, uh, y'all like your Choo Choo Charles? Nah, we got Tommy the Tank Engine. The Choo Chuck. <laughs> Tommy the Tank, they call him. <laughs> oh boy! Oh no! Do da da do da do do ba 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 Take the barrel and throw about the train! Okay! Oh, break your stuff! Oh you, you, shit! Okay! Go! No. Go away! No. Ba ba bad train! Bad train! Bad! Ah. Get out! Go away! Uh, oh, no, because you, you lost it. You lost Because I cart. lost. I, oh, come no. on! Come on with that mess! Get out of here! <laughs> Nailed it, Desperado. I didn't nail it! We missed one! Tommy the Tank has been put behind bars. More like Tommy the Stank, because that was shit! Still got a Stella ribbon. You know you're going, like, awfully hard on yourself for a children's game. Well, I mean, that's... I mean, you gotta be hard, that, otherwise you're not gonna get any better. That's how you, you, you achieve growth. You see? See, if I did that every time I played a rated E game, it's like, I miss one collectible. Ah, I fucking suck at this! God! I, I knew a guy who played DDR, he got really good at it, because every time he got, like, a miss or a boo, he'd do a push-up. It's dedication. Oh. Like, as soon as he got the miss, like, hurry up and push pause and then do a push-up? Like, results screen. There's two misses. One, two. That's actually kind of ingenious, because DDR is already making you fit. And then you go and do push-ups? Yeah, he was in band. He was like... Yeah, he was fit as shit. God. This is Detective 3. It's called The Dark Museum and the Purple Mystery. I mean, that's a pretty mysterious purple, if you ask me. It's either that or Madame Grape probably just put on a mask. Um, above her mask. So she's double Who masked. Who could she be? Hmm. Hmm. Madame Grape just puts a bag over her head. Accidentally suffocates. The Detective Sparkle must be here somewhere. We should ask around. You never know where we'll find clues. You know anything, mm. sir? I have a clue! But what if I strike you with intuition? Dex him in the face. <laughs> An imposter! Ha! Can't hide from me, dingbat. Darn it! Uh, yeah, how about... no? The second imposter! You cur! I do like how they just immediately give up. It's like, ah, oh, shucks. Oh, man, they found me out. Well, I don't have any more deniability. That won't hold up in court anymore. You're a sp I can't, I can't, What the fuck? Everyone's an imposter. And we're the only one who's real. It's like oxygen? What's that? Mm-hmm. Strike of intuition! I think that was one of Phoenix Wright's moves in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. <laughs> Strike of intuition! <laughs> Hit them with the finger. 
The good thing about uh, games like this is not to treat your audience like an idiot. Mm -hmm. So here's a piece of paper that says, all right, here's a guide. This door will open with, with, when there's a shared element examined in proper order. This already has shown impressive skill to get this far. You can do this. It's like, no, you, no, you got it. You can figure it out. Just look at the things in a certain order and you'll know what I mean. Okay. All right. So, first things first, over here, they're, they're all imposter. It was, uh, just, just whatever. <laughs> Turn everything here to the left first. Uh, yeah. I know they light up, but turn them to the left. Turn to the left. Ah. Ow. Ah. See, I wonder how you knew that. You have to intuit it. Intuit it? Intuit. You are an intuit, aren't you? What? Oh, that little... The little suitcase has bows on it. Ah. That's why. Gotcha. Oh, thank God! I'm getting the hell out of here! I fix. Wait. Fix the floor. I fixed the lift, buddy. Wait, no! No, it's broken again! No! The moving floor! Right, now we can do this right. Ah. Move them all forwards. Ah. Uh. So that they all light up, because the picture says to light them up, so maybe if they all light up, it do something. Light maybe, them up! Maybe. Maybe. Light them up! Ba -da 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 light them Look up! Look at me using my intuition skills! Ah. Are you into it? Yeah. Well, he's just having a conniption over there. What did you do? What I had to. You you need to get out of my way, like hella. He's like so mad at you. Do you get the pattern yet? Blue, yellow, red, green. Wrong. Two. Four. So the first one is one. Well, actually, let's open these chests first. Money. You're stealing from a museum. Yeah, I am. So, I'm doing it for free, but I'm using uh, on-site procurement. Oh. First is the ancient sparkle relief. Phew. Bing. Uh -huh. One. <laughs> Gee, I wonder if they coincide with the colors. Oh, hey. Here's number two. Two. Not the colors, it's the number of the buttons at the bottom. Well, I mean, yeah, but the first thing was blue, so you go with blue. That one has a two, so it's two. Of course! Let me guess, this next one's... Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Watson, you're fired. Oh, man! This is like... This is my third Watson job this week, and I've been fired from all of them! Damn it! Uh, I tried to be Watson to Sherlock Holmes. I tried to be a supercomputer for IBM. I can't do anything right. Uh, a fee pot of water urn. Hoo ya! Under two cat. Alright. Nice. Junior? Aww. I was the detective the whole time. It, oh. Huh. Find the real one. All right. Find the real one. Any ideas? I'll let you handle this. Okay. 
Go ahead and talk to him. Dang. All right. Who first? Uh, let's go left to right. What's up, man? Cool. Nope. Yeah, no. <laughs> Tuition strike. Quick, hit me. Seventeen thousand dollars. Ah! Glad you finally made it here. Since Madame Grape captured me, it's time we escape. Nope. What's up, man? You look unassuming. I need not say anything. Skillful deduction to get this far, and I'm sure your intuition will lead you to the truth. Well, he's a front runner. Anyway, what's this guy got to say? I'm the real detective. Get me out of here. All right, get the hell out of here. Very first assistant. Wow, okay. So, hey, I think the guy who's not putting up a fuss and says we should use our intuition because we're such gosh dang cool people. Elementary, my dear Watson. Yeah. I need not say anything. Because he believes in us. He's like, oh, you're, you're smart. You'll figure this out. Yeah, you got this. No problem. And he's a great person. <laughs> <laughs> Fool! Deceived! Deceived! All right, let's go. Escape, escape. Ooh, he has his own magnifying glass. I wonder what we should do. What do you think we should do? I think we should examine the glowy things. There's no, it's just the shine from the lights. Oh. Uh, what the hell? Oh dear. We seem to be in a time loop, Princess Peach. It, it appears so. How strange. <sighs> a mysterious space. Not a mysterious there. space! No! I hate those! Ah! Did he just flash me? Okay. So, gotta get a look at the room here. Well, magnifying yeah. glass changed. Yeah, it's not in this room. There we go. Now it's in this room. Ah, uh, just so kids can figure out what's different. So what's different? Did you figure out what's different? It's Did a you... magnifying glass! Mm, what could it's a magnifying glass! I've already got a magnifying glass. Use but it on the could... other magnifying glass, mm. the, the big one! HURRY UP AND TELL ME! <laughs> of course it's a magnifying glass. <laughs> Way too big to pick up. It's made of pure iron and hurts when it falls on your feet. It wasn't me! I didn't do it! No! <sighs> I love how it has the game show ringer whenever you get something right. <laughs> yeah! I think Law and Order needs that, whenever they catch the bad guy. Just... <laughs> -la 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 -la. Hey, we got the guy! It's the actual you guy! You didn't, didn't you, Brian? You're the one who murdered Kelly! How you got Got him! I, I, I confess. Oh. That would suck to be a criminal in that universe. She's like, uh, it, what? <laughs> you see a police lineup and you're just moving your finger over the different suspects and you're just waiting for the It's like Minority uh, Report by way of press your lock. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was. No whammies, no whammies. All right. Detective. Hello, detective. You made you made it this far. I'm impressed. Well, if it isn't Junior. Hmm. hmm. The exit is just this way. Yeah, I don't believe that. Come on, guys. Go through the exit. Mm -hmm. yeah, Find out if you're the real guy. As you know, the sofa in our office doesn't have a single cushion on it. Uh-oh. If you were going to purchase a cushion for it, what color would you pick? Mm. Ah. 
purple. I mean, it would, but... Excellent. Next, if you are meeting someone at nine o'clock, when would you arrive? 7.30 p.m. Okay. I see, I see. All right, one final question. What do you think about this grape character? No! And slip of the tongue. There we go. Take this revolver. You know what to do. Oh, no, I do. let's just, uh, yeah. I'm gonna deduce the fuck out of you! <laughs> you were a cheat the whole time! You played your hand. Yay! I've never felt so lied to! So Junior was a fake the whole time, or he's just not here? Maybe he's just not here. Okay. Because he's like, huh, Junior? What are you doing here at the end of dimensions? <laughs> what are you doing at the end of this dimension there, dude? Case closed. Case closed. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bing. All right. Got one more play left to go. For this episode, at least. Let's do it! Are you ready for excitement? Are you ready for action? Are you ready for... <laughs> Am I ever? Exi Wake the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> it is time for the third Kung Fu play! Oh, this should be good. Uh... Right, right. Deductive reasoning at its finest. Very good, very good. I'm off for a smoke and some heroin. Alright. The Dark School and the Twisted Fist. It's like you make a fist, and it just... I mean, it sound, Twisted Fist sounds a lot better than Contorted Appendage or something like that. The Dark Dragon and the Contorted and, Appendage. And, 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 and the, uh, mismatched digits. Ew. And the tangled fingers. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> ah, just, oh. And the twisted digits! <laughs> oh wait, they already used twisted. Shit. I'm not good at this. This one's kind of short, too. A lot of these uh, third stage plays are really short. Yeah, that's fine. They're just refreshers. And we already got him. All right. Yep. Oh. How about you? Ah, da, da, beat the fuck! Da, 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 block! Da, block! Da, block! Da, block! Da, block! Da. Ow! Fucking god! Were you the kid that spammed the block button when you were playing a fighting game with your friends as a kid? Quite the opposite. I was quite aggressive. I am to this day quite aggressive. Just constant punching oh, yeah. and everything. Oh, yeah. See, I did that when the only fighting game I had was Tekken 3 and Super Smash Brothers and then 64. And uh, I got immediately humbled when Dead or Alive showed up where counters were a thing. And that's basically what everyone used. <sighs> Couldn't be aggressive anymore. Actually had to be defensive. I had a time with Dead or Alive and then I just fell off with it. It takes a special individual to constantly enjoy Dead or Alive. Uh, you keep telling yourself that. Right? I am that type of person. I hate these stick things. They block forever and from all angles all the time. I'm gonna clean your ear. Don't you still have a counter button? Not for Kung Fu. Oh, okay. D D Rude. The guys at the top of the mountain are like, you didn't drop it on her? I thought it would hit, I'm sorry! Well, it didn't, Charlie. What are you gonna do about that, huh? This is kind of awesome. Hey, Bush. Hey, Bush. <laughs> he just kind of flew. Come over here. Sparkler. Yes. Oh, I wanted to get Hi, fucked guys. up! Hi, ah! guys! <laughs> Fucking get out of here! Lovely ah! day to get absolutely fucking destroyed. What do you think? Block, block, block. Get out of here, God! 
Like, even from the back they can block, which is just unfair. Sounds like Kung Fu Masters. And we're already there. We are already here. I will save you, Kung Fu Sparkler! After I kick his ass yet again... Bestow great power unto me. <laughs> oh. We're gonna fight all three at the same time? That'd be the smart thing. All three at the same time? Ah, damn it. Oh, a little too early. There we go. Just the same button every time, by the way. Yep, just okay. B. That was awesome. Uh, gotta jump for that one. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm, I'm fighting, get out of here. Hey, do any of you guys want a pretzel? I'm just over here in front of the sparkler and just, you know, if you guys want a pretzel, I can help you out with that. Oh, I've, I'll, I got a pretzel for you. I'm making some right now. Oh, that's cool. Uh, do you want, like, extra salt on yours? I th oh, I think you've got all the salt we need. I was wondering what was happening. There we go. There we go. And out of here. Oh, shoot. Come on. Not too shabby. For a girl! And then the fire shows up in her eyes. Boosh! And so he was immediately emasculated Oops. by throwing fireballs at the new Kung Fu Master. Nope, nope. This is kind of a cool fight. I love the teleport thing. Shoot, Get shoot. out of here. You'd think he'd learn. But no. Oh, not done yet, apparently. He's got the big one. He's got the big one. Yeah. Oh, that seemed kind of unavoidable. Uh, avoidable. Should have parried. Drive impacts, maybe. Jeez, idiot. I didn't even think of that. Oh. Oh, wait, he's starting the level two. Oh, did, 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 uh. Nope. Bring it on, come on! Oh yeah! Ah, uh, this is great. This is great. Finish this with one blow. Nice! He exploded! Completely eviscerated him. God damn! There is blood on the floor. There are bones and guts everywhere. Fatality. Princess Peach wins. And the crowd goes wild! Yay. Woo! Yeah! That's my monarch! For the Mushroom Kingdom! Blood sprays into the audience and all the toads <laughs> are just like, yeah! <laughs> kind of a bloodthirsty people after the, uh, after the uprising and the attempted coup. They learned their lesson. I think it was when they conquered Darkland that things really started to get dire. Yeah. Well, the Bean Bean Kingdom was never the same. Well, keeping things on a lighter, more positive <laughs> note, we now have only, can you believe it, three, three plays left. Yeah, three sparklers only left. Only three sparklers left. All right. And then it's time for the final boss. Perfect. That's crazy. So next time on Princess Peach Showtime. There we go. Yes, Princess Peach Showtime. Not Super Princess Peach, the game came, that came out for DS in 2005 that features Princess Peach in a 2D platforming setting. It's in next time on Princess Peach Showtime, the 3D... Just, uh,